anger. I have to take a minute to calm down after that kind of anger around me. <laughs> anyway, I'm from Wolcott, which is even, it says that in your man's bio, if you haven't noticed, I'm from Wolcott. Um, and Wolcott is even farther away than Montpelier from here. If you drive east and you keep driving until you've left civilization behind, and suddenly your phone doesn't work, <laughs> But you have not yet reached the beautiful Northeast Kingdom, you're in Wolcott. <laughs> That's where I live. Wolcott doesn't have, it has one claim to fame, Wolcott, and that is Buck's Furniture. <laughs> okay, good. I was hoping I wouldn't have to explain <laughs> what Buck's Furniture is, because that's a big, a big concept. Anyway, um, I had a really strange religious experience with Buck's Furniture recently that hard to explain, but um, it was the tax-free holiday. I, I don't know if you guys celebrate that <laughs> as part of your religious faith, but I, I wasn't celebrating it that day. I was just trying to go to the post office in Wolcott, and I was having a really hard time finding a place to park, which doesn't usually happen in Wolcott. And so, I mean, okay, you guys may not be familiar with the layout of downtown Wolcott. There's the post office, and then in every other direction that you look is Buck's Furniture. <laughs> so, I, you know, for 15 minutes of driving around, I finally found myself a place to park, and I got out of my car, and I looked around, and there was people everywhere. There was, like, families with small children, old people with walkers, couples, people everywhere, and they were all walking in this slow pilgrimage sort of formation toward Buck's Furniture. <laughs> I was trying to go to the post office, but I, something happened to my, and I was in the flow, <laughs> going towards Buck's Furniture, and this, I felt this tap on my shoulder, and I turned, and this woman next to me, with matching lips and nails and bag and shoes, <laughs> said to me, I don't know why, but something told me I had to come here today. <laughs> I thought, where did you come from? From Maybe Bucks is the only place that has a couch that matches you. <laughs> Something. Anyway, we both looked back at the entrance of Bucks Furniture and the door opened up and this bright light shone out at me and I had to shield my eyes. I couldn't even see and I heard this voice say, Spend and buy, my little lamb. Spend and buy. <laughs> All your sins of downsizing and recycling will be forgiven today, and Buck's Furniture will bestow the gift of 7% off upon you. <laughs> I looked down, and my hand was reaching up and out, and I had my credit card in it, and it was all a blur after that, like a crazy blur, and I woke up at home, and I was laying on my brand new camo pleather love seat. <laughs> that I had bought at Bucks for $1,500, <laughs> this love seat. I mean, love seat is sort of a stretch for the, for the word because it was two reclining chairs that were just attached to each other by a cooler. <laughs> With like cup, cup holders in the cooler. Yeah, that was a big day for me. <laughs> so I meditate in that chair now. Yeah. Anyway, um, I recently um, was invited to a passion party. Oh, if any of you guys have ever been to one of those or know what the, okay, someone, someone's been here, crazy. But a passion, for those of you who don't know, a passion party is like a get together for, in my experience, women, nice moms, ladies, to drink wine and look at and possibly purchase toys that are not considered nice. <laughs> They're considered naughty. <laughs> yeah, um, naughty. Anyway, I'm, I'm at this party and we are passing around all these appliances, <laughs> electronic devices, cordless apparati, you know, with cactus shapes. <laughs> Tell me. education for me, but the first feeling I had when I saw all of these things was, 
I feel really sorry for men. <laughs> These toys can do it all. <laughs> and they can do it all simultaneously. <laughs> which is important. That's key. But in case, if you don't know, that's good. <laughs> Simul simultaneity is a, good, is a good thing. They're like... <laughs> Um, I felt like sex toy companies were really likely to make male genitalia obsolete. That was totally the feeling I had, you know, like floppy disks. <laughs> I haven't used a floppy disk in 10 years and I'm fine. <laughs> it works without them. Anyway, I, I pictured the next generation of women you know, raised on these toys when they are finally confronted with the real thing, you know? <laughs> Is that all that it does? <laughs> does it have any other features? Because <laughs> my favorite feature is G-Spot Scooper action. <laughs> Disappointed. I just, it's hard, it's hard for me to go without the, the tickling bunny ears. Um, I, I kind of need those. I just wanted to take this moment to say that I'm just making this up as I go along. That has nothing to do with me. I have it totally, have it together that way. I do. Anyway, let's go back to the party. Let's go back to the party together. We'll go back to the party. We're passing around all these different, you know, as I said, toys, apparatuses, different things or whatever. And this one toy that comes to me is called a tongue dinger. <laughs> this thing was wild. It's like a little anatomically correct sort of tongue, and it's on a pedestal. It has a little on-off switch, and when you turn it on, it gyrates around. Like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Amazing, and it's not the normal body part that people are passing around this kind of party. So I got one. <laughs> it was kind of an impulse buy for me, but... Anyway, I got one, and I, I took it home. I, I had to find some way to test drive it. You know, I wasn't worrying about that at the time. The next day, I was at home, and I was back in nice mom mode, nursing my wine hangover, and I was picking up all my son's toys, you know, cleaning up the house, taking care of the house, doing my thing, doing my thing. Oh, no. And I, and I picked up my son's um, three-foot smiling Elmo doll with a perfect, wide-open, smiling kind of mouth. I'm not sure why they connected up in my mind. <laughs> But they did, they did. So, with my tongue dinger in my one hand, and my Elmo doll in the other hand, I said, hey Elmo, you annoying little fucker. I think it's about time for you to tickle me. 